Hello, I'm Amelia Bonner and I'm a reporter of the Liverpool Echo and I'm in a very grey and rainy Runcorn Old Town this morning to chat to people about what they think is the heart of Runcorn. It's a town that's got an old town centre that we're stood in now, it's got a shopping city and it's got a slightly out of town retail park as well as a big Asda, but we kind of want to know which area it is that people consider to be the heart of Runcorn, what it is they think could be done to improve the town and what their current feelings are on it. Uh, there used to be like an apology of a market here on a Tuesday, but again, it was nothing, there's just no no heart in it at all. Yeah, yeah. So it needs, an, it needs a lot of investment in it and, yeah. you know, a lot of shops to actually move here, yeah. you know, make it make it something again. Because yeah. it, it, was it wasn't bad a little while ago, you know, there was a few years ago, there was the market and things like that, but it's, it's a ghost town really. Nothing. We have to go to Witness to get all our shopping. It's died here. Yeah. It's all died, this town. To what I is, it's been a lovely little town when I come here. Country, country, pub and everything. And now it's practically derelict. Let's look at it. Yeah. It's just not great. And free parking's a good thing, that's, yeah. that's it. Yeah. yeah. What do you think the town needs to kind of pick it back up a bit and give it a bit more of a, you know, a, a pull for people? Well, there's more than Halton residents that come, so it's just the bridge cost that yeah. puts me off because I don't live in Halton. Yeah. What, what's changed? Yeah. The whole of the town has. This time, you, you, every day, it was, this was always busy here. And what you've got now is card shops mm. and charity shops. Yeah. There's no proper shops at all here in the town. If you want anywhere, you've got to go to Witness. That's the only place where you get it. And all the money's spent over there, not here. Yeah. As a Runcorn lad born and bred, yeah. this is my town. Yeah. I, I pride myself that I'm a Runcornian. Also that this is our little shopping area. Yeah. Yes, there is a shopping city. Um, indoor, yeah. outdoor. But one thing that we could do within the old town is... Um, Perhaps a nice little market. And if you have a look on my walls there, photographs that were took by a gentleman called Roy Goff, that's our old traditional indoor market. We haven't got that anymore. Perhaps that could come back to Runcorn, which brings a footfall back into the old town. Um, yeah, we could do some more shops. Um, perhaps the bigger stores, like I've just said, the Marks and Spencers, the Aldis, the Primark. That's what bring people to the town. This is an old traditional town and um, the bigger stores do take probably the pride in, in, in a little town or a big town, but if we have those here, perhaps it would bring a more footfall. But we do have our regular customers, and, and we love our regular customers coming to the town, but we would like to see outsiders coming as well. Yeah, yeah. I hope that the new, um, up by the railway, railway station, we've got the new railway quarters coming that'll bring another part of Runcorn back to the town. The bridge, when the old bridge opens again, we've got the new bridge. Let's hope that people see a new a new Runcorn, yeah. but not take the old town away. The heart of the town's gone. Oh, even all the people here that we, I know, long ones here, they're not interested in the town now. You look at it, it's dying on its feet. We have to go to Witness to get decent food. Yeah because these stores, yeah, they sell the food, but the prices are a bit expensive. Yeah. And when you're on a pension, you've got to look after your pennies yeah. as well. So we've been chatting to shoppers and business owners in Runcorn Old Town about what they feel about what the town has to offer in terms of shops, eateries, and just things to draw people in from outside the area. And it kind of splits into two camps. You've got some people who said, sadly, they don't feel Runcorn does have a heart anymore, that the old market's gone, shopping city has lost a lot of businesses, and that they have to travel to the likes of Widnes, Warrington or Liverpool if they want to do their shopping. But on the other hand, you've got old business owners that have been running businesses in this town for years that say they're still really proud of their town centre, that the old town is where it's at, and that that's where shopping will always come for reliable independent businesses.